Approximately 50 farmers have engaged in a farmer field school being delivered in Region 7, focused on cucumber production, as part of the European Union-funded capacity building program related to multilateral environment agreements, coordinated and facilitated by the Food and Agriculture Organization in collaboration with local crop protection officers and extension officers throughout the OECS. This initiative aims to bolster sustainable agriculture and promote integrated pest management to address the powdery mildew currently being faced in cucumber production. The training, which took place over a one-week period, is a follow-up to the Farmer Field School Facilitator Refresher Training held in June 2023, and the implementation of the two Farmer Field School programs in Region 1 and 2 and Region 6, focusing on tomato and cabbage production. Master Trainer of the Farmer Field School program explains that the training emphasizes techniques that minimize the use of harmful pesticides while maximizing crop yield and health. Using a hands-on approach, the program facilitates the sharing of information between farmers and sector experts. Last year we were here to actually train extension officer in this training methodology, Farmer Field School. And it's about, you know, getting farmers to learn how they do best and farmers learn by doing. But what we realize is that over the years in the Caribbean, we have been just doing visit, visit and, uh, um, training and visitation. So we sit in the office, we decide the training and we go out and we deliver it. In most cases, we don't know if the farmers learn or not. What we know is that FFS, we go along what we call the crop phenology. So we go right along the crop cycle. So what we do, we find farmers with similar problems. So if they are cucumber farmers, we find farmers who are growing cucumbers and who are facing the disease problems. Then we develop a training program based on what we call a baseline assessment. So we go to these farmers, find out what are their problems, and we develop a training um, curriculum out of that, and then we develop a training module. But the thing about this is that the, the training comes from the farmers and it is for the farmers. Laura Francis, a facilitator who is also attached to the research department of the Agriculture Ministry, says that focusing on sustainable practices and the IPM not only enhances productivity, but also ensures environmental conservation for future generations. She notes that the enthusiasm and commitment from the farmers are a testament to the effectiveness of this approach. The farmers, they are true researchers. They knew they were able to identify the pests, the in different insects, different um, disease symptoms that were expressed. And they came and they even took um, samples to bring to show the other team. And they actually did an excellent presentation. So it, was, it has been a tremendous week. I really enjoy doing it and I, I hope that whatever we... Um, I learn I can translate to other facilitators and farmers by extension. As the farmer field school sessions progress, it is expected that the lessons learned and best practices will be scaled out throughout the OECS, contributing to a more sustainable and productive agriculture sector across the Caribbean. From the communications unit of the Ministry of Agriculture, I am Anicia Antoine reporting.